sing this prayer. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the ocean. I've thanked the Lord many times in my life that He allowed me to be born in this country. No one is ever born anywhere accidentally. God has pre-appointed the boundaries and the lands into which people have been born. I worship God for His sovereignty. I thank God that He allowed me to be a part of this generation in this country. I'm also thankful that the God we serve paid the ultimate price, not just so we could belong to this earthly country, but so we could be citizens of a heavenly country, a country that knows no war and will never be defeated, a place where Christ is king, a place where we will live and enjoy the presence of God for all eternity. If you're thankful for heaven, say amen. amen. You may be seated. As you can tell, I've got a little physical problem going on here. I've got several issues at one time, some other medical issues. And so you just have to bear with me today. If I cough, just say hallelujah. Or join me. You're welcome to join me in any kind of coughing you want to do. That's God bless you. Uh, or sneeze or whatever. But we are also here this morning to thank the good Lord for His saving grace. His shed blood, His broken body, that we could sit here today and call God Father. I'm going to ask those who will serve us to come ahead and prepare. I want you to prepare your heart. This was a joyful time. No mourning, because he is not dead. He is alive forevermore. We are a thankful people today. And I want you to hear me. Can you hear me? I'm going to come over here to the side. When Jesus Christ died on the cross, that was the most God could do. God did everything He could do to save my soul. It wasn't just a little act. It was the infinite, almighty act of God to redeem lost men and women to Himself. And if he were willing to do that, to save me in my sins, praise God there's power enough to keep me as I walk through this life. God keeps me. I want you to know you're here today because of the keeping power of God. 
the shed blood, his broken body, and the keeping power of God is why, brother, I should have been dead and in hell a long Amen. time ago. Amen. But God, who is rich in mercy. Yes. So when we hold these elements this morning, I pray you'll have a new appreciation for what they symbolize. Don't look at this as just a liturgical act in church. See this as a revelation of the power of Almighty God in His Son, Jesus Christ. Father, we bless this meal. We thank you for the day when you will sit at the head of the table and you will conduct it. I thank you that we can sit here now and remember you and what you did for us. Bless us now as we receive it. In Christ's name, amen.
came down from heaven if anyone eats of this bread he will live forever 
and the bread that I shall give is my flesh which I shall give for the life of the world. Most assuredly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so he who feeds on me will live forever. Hallelujah. The night that Jesus sat with his apostles and broke the bread, they had no idea what he was doing. But that night, in the breaking of the bread and in the consuming of the wine, Jesus was about to usher in a new age. The age of Jews, Judaism, feasts, festivals, lambs, bulls, goats, blood, misery, temple were over. Jesus ushered in the new covenant with God whereby we are no longer saved by keeping rules killing animals, going to the temple, paying tithes. We are saved by looking at Jesus and believing that his body was broken for us and his blood was shed for us. And when we love him, serve him, we have eternal life inside of us. I don't know if you get this, Look around you. These are eternal people. We are never going to die. Is it because we work hard? No. It's because he died and rose again and said, look unto me. And we believed. Suddenly, we were filled with God became new creations, and eternal life is ours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that his body was broken for you? Hold it up. Do you thank him for it? Eat. This is my body. How many of you believe that his blood was sufficient to wash away all Sin for all time, past, present, and future. Hold it up. Aren't you glad your sins have been washed away and forgiven? Drink all of it. Stand and sing. You are the one.
ushers, would you come please and give us the opportunity to give back to God? May the Lord bless you today as you give. Let me implore you one more time, don't let my voice hinder anything. It's the same word, whether it's yelled or whispered. It'll set the captive free. It'll revive those who have lost life and enthusiasm. It'll pull you out of the deepest despair. It'll plant your feet. It'll settle your soul. Thank God for the word that he gives us. Lord, bless us now as we give. In Jesus' name, amen.
rise and nations fall, but God is Lord above them all. Reign, Jesus, reign. The kingdoms of this world become the kingdoms of the risen sun. Reign, Jesus, reign. We're declaring that your kingdom Oh, 